the announcer of the Beaver Stadium. I mean, we've got all kinds of. But we're really proud of this young lady. And maybe you know, and maybe you don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you Miss Pennsylvania 2018. First of all, you were crowned as Pennsylvania back in June. Grew up in Palmyra. Yeah, we have a few Palmyra people here. I got that too. Played three years so far in the Blue Band saxophone, and this year representing the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania as Miss Pennsylvania, and uh, just competed top ten finish in the Miss America pageant. Congratulations! such an honor to represent them on a national stage as Miss Pennsylvania. Was it awesome to play the saxophone in the talent competition? Oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing ever, but it's so weird because I'm used to having 300 friends play, and I mean, it was just me this time, uh, but it was such a thing. What, uh, what are some things that you learned in Blue Man over the last three years that have helped you over the last summer representing our company? Absolutely. Well, I actually served as the public relations officer for the Penn State Blue Band uh, before Connor, who's doing an amazing job right now. Uh, so working with their social media has helped me brand myself as Miss Pennsylvania and helped me to reach as many people as possible to share my message about building families through adoption. And that is one of your big message, building families through adoption. What, uh, what would be the message to take away from that team? The big thing, I was adopted uh, from South Korea when I was six months old, and I tried to spread the message of my adoption story in order to promote inclusivity and diversity while also proving that just because you're an adopted family doesn't make you any less of a family. Katie, we want to thank you so much for the job you do.